Okay. So which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? So a six-year-old man presents to the ER with sudden left side weakness and slurred speech. His symptoms began 30 minutes ago, but resolved within 15 minutes. His medical history includes hypertension and type 2 diabetes. On physical examination, the patient has no focal neurological deficits. Um, which of the following is a diagnosis? Left sided weakness was slurred. It could be like a form of stroke. Okay. Okay. Form it resolved within 15 minutes. Okay. So, what kind of stroke kind of resolves in 15 minutes? Um, You're on the right track. One that is not ischemic. Okay. Not ischemic stroke. Is that a term? Okay. Uh, so, okay. So in your mind, that's what you've kind of come up with. Now look at the answer choices and try to pick an answer that best fits what you just told me. What, what I'm confused with this question is that he got better. Okay. Um, which with Bell Palsley. Okay. Um, I know that's like one sided of your face there's slurred speech and it also like resolves okay and the fact that he had like no neurological deficits i don't know why like bell's palsy just looks good okay so that's what you're gonna go with remember you told me originally when you came up before you looked at the answer that it's a some kind of form of stroke okay so you tell me right how so, so talk to me, you know, how, how did you get from that answer to Bell's palsy? If that makes sense. Is Bell's palsy a type of stroke? No. Okay. You, you understand kind it's of where, not. yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out kind of, you know, um, your logic here, you know what I'm trying to say? So you initially told me, okay, I think it's some kind of form of stroke. And then you then kind of said Bell palsy sounds good. So which one do you want to go with here? I'm going to go with my first answer, it being stroke. Okay. So you want to do first, stroke? I'm trying no, to... I'm trying I don't to want but yeah, I'm trying to I kind of to, talk you through without giving you the answer, of course. What I'm going to go with is transient ischemic attack. Okay. Because stroke is... um, It would last longer, and I think the symptoms wouldn't like resolve within 15 minutes okay, good okay what is transient ischemic Where, mean? um lesser severe than good. a stroke yeah transient just means that it, it's it happened temporarily right but it resolved that's what transient well, that's what it means yeah transient means that okay, okay. um so let's kind of talk about this question together. Do you see kind of what I'm trying to say? Like, if you come up with a diagnosis in your head already, you need to find mm -hmm. an answer choice that matches your train of thought. Does it make sense? Don't let the answer choices change what you've already come up with. Mm -hmm. Right? I because see. if not, then you would have picked Bell's palsy, right? Mm -hmm. But that didn't fit kind of, you're like, oh, it's kind of a stroke, right? Um, so let's talk about this. So a stroke itself, right? If you have a true stroke, then you're going to have deficits for almost like your whole life for the most part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless you catch it within, you know, I think 90 minutes and give a certain medication, but most people that have a stroke will have deficits, you know, their, their motion on that side won't come back. It kind of stays there because that part of the brain is kind of dead. Right. Um, transient ischemic attack means that probably had a small clot, um, clotted there and then went away. Right. That's why it's called transient, meaning that, um, you know, these patients um, after 15 minutes, it just resolves on its own. But then um, just so, you know, to further to complete the thought, um, where do you think the most common causes of transient ischemic attack go from come from? Like, where do those clots come from? Usually. I want to say yeah. Go ahead. maybe um, a DVT. Uh, with DVT, not so much a DVT, because remember, a DVT, right, will go into the right oh, side of the heart and stuck in the lungs, right? Not your brain. Yeah. 
So the most common cause usually is like carotid artery uh, stenosis, right? So you have plaque in your carotid arteries and a piece of that plaque breaks off. So, mm, um, and it goes up. yeah, so these patients, right, um, sometimes they'll say they have like a carotid brewery, right? Meaning you can hear, you know, you can hear turbulent flow in the carotids. And so um, just kind of keep in the back of your mind. Bell's palsy is usually they say is like a reactivation of like, you know, a herpes attack or something like that on the facial nerve, right? And so really, you're going to have just facial nerve paralysis. So on that side, not the whole body. Does it make sense? So Bell's palsy is only on the face, not your your body. Okay. Um, okay. Migraine with auras, right? That's a bad headache. And you see lights, right? Seizures um, mm -hmm. looks very different from this, right? So different types of seizures as you already know. Good. Yeah.